It must be dark since you can't see. This is said so many times. But it isn't dark. If you're completely without sight, it isn't dark. For you can't see anything. Well, it must be like putting a blindfold on. But it isn't really. Because you can open your eyes and see the blindfold, if nothing else. When you have no sight at all, it seems as though there is nothing there. If it were darkness, we could see. For you can surely see darkness. You can distinguish light from darkness. But those of us without sight can't see this difference. So we don't live in darkness. But in a world which is nothing to the sightless eye. But is everything to the seeing hand. blind child, there is no handicap. The world is as he finds it, with all its joys and limitations. What matters is not that he lacks sight, but that the universe he encounters is without appearance, a world beyond light and darkness. He can touch this world and feel the texture of its form. He can listen and hear its melody. To the blind child, there is no handicap. kind of place until a child can come to find out what it's all about. It doesn't smell the same as home and there are other children there, but no one seems to have a mother. It takes a while to learn what chair to use and where the crayons have to be returned. It takes a while to get the names all straight so friendships can begin to grow. For some, however, getting used to things may be more difficult. Blindness at times becomes a wall encircling their loneliness in silence. But even the withdrawal is a kind of reaching out, a cry for warmth and understanding. It takes patience, lots of patience. The road away from loneliness is slow. A blind child, like any other, needs reassurance, an awareness of himself, a sense of being loved. He needs to feel at home with his surroundings to know what and where things are.
He needs confidence in his physical abilities and freedom from dependence. Only then, when self is certain, can the child be unafraid to seek companionship, to interact with other children, to respond to human feelings, to, to a human world. And when that moment comes, the child at last is ready. We leave them out. What if we cannot read our word, Linda? Put it back in my, put it in our house, little bit, because, because, because it's sick. That's right, and then when it gets it, better, it'll not get out. That's right. When we know it, it can come out, can it? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me this word, Linda? Um, help. Help. Very good. Jerry? Down. Down. Very Not all blind children are completely without sight. Many have limited use of their eyes and can distinguish shapes and colors. These children usually learn to read by using large print, while the sightless begin the task of mastering the Braille alphabet. Linda? This one down. That is our new friend. It begins with the snake sound. That's right. C. C. Do you think we should put him in the hospital? Yes. That's right. We'll make him all better, won't we? Linda? Dick. Who is Dick, Brenda? He's the boy. That's right. He's the boy in our story, isn't he? Oh, I thought. What's the time signature of your piece? Three, four. Can you tell me the key? Oh, see. That's right. And what does it say about it? In education, blindness is only incidental. The tools at times are different, but the student in, in a residential school faces the same basic challenge to learning as any sighted child, explores the same fields of knowledge, pursues the same goals. Joyfully, doesn't it? Joyfully, too. What's our grouping of notes in here that we're learning about for the first time in one of our pieces? Triplets. Triplets, and that's... How many notes? Three notes to one count. That's right. And do they usually begin every measure when they appear in this particular piece? Yes. And how does our piece begin? What's the dynamic marking? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mezzo what? Forte. Mezzo forte. What does that mean? Moderately loud. All right. Shall we try it? Let's see how well you can do it. Maybe you can think of it. Education at best is only a prelude. It's a preparation for the world. And the world beyond these walls does not accommodate the blind or compensate. The blind must find their own way out of the shadows. Do I have to do this? 
Now, if we walk through this building later on, you won't have to do all this. But if you're going out and find uh, unfamiliar steps, yes, I would do it every time. Then you're sure of yourself. Okay? Okay. Fine. Now, as we start down, let's try to keep our cane in this position. Okay, fine. It's fine. Good. Good. As soon as the student develops enough skill and confidence to move freely over familiar ground, he meets a new and different challenge. To sensitive fingers, a cane can tell many, many things. But the student also learns to listen. He listens to the sound of other voices, other footsteps passing by, or traffic which informs him when the light is green. Some may never learn to use the cane, may never come to trust it, but for most, it represents the final link to freedom. afraid now? Who is timid and withdrawn? Who is handicapped, shut off from the world? Who is alone in darkness? Not us. It must have been somebody else. Well, if you want my love, come on, baby. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you now. Don't let me do. Well, if you want my love, come on, baby. Sometimes there are special problems. 
Then teacher becomes counselor. Each day we'll learn a little bit more and keep adding to it. And so that really isn't the difficult part. Uh, what to you so far has been the most difficult part of Braille? Oh, uh, first the album that was, but once I learned it, why it isn't hard. Mm -hmm. You've memorized it without any difficulty. Uh, do you have any particular problem with the reading as yet, Wendell? Uh, a little bit there. And what's the difficulty there? Well, I have to go slow to feel some of the dots out, mm -hmm. but that's it. And I think that the, naturally with anybody, the more you use your fingers, the easier that gets. But you have an added problem in your situation, don't you? Yeah. And that because of the stroke that you had a year or so ago in connection with your brain tumor? Yes. And what side did that affect, Wendell? My left one. That affected your left side. So that would include the left hand, wouldn't it? Yes. The reading finger on the left hand. Are you able to detect anything with that left index finger when you try to touch the dot? A little bit, not little much bit. of it. Uh-huh. Uh, does it get easier at all as far as you can determine? Oh, well, not much, but it, I think it's going to help. You, I think so, too, because I've noticed as you're reading the sentences that you're getting more of the letters than you were in the beginning. And this would indicate that gradually the sense of touch is coming. But in your case, it may take a little longer before you get to reading along. The problems of blindness affect not only the blind themselves. Parents, too, need understanding. A sympathetic ear helps. Someone to talk to, to answer questions or ease fears, to explain the progress of the child. But most of all, what helps is going home. person something to come back to. The steps become more certain and the dreams more definite. For many, music is their footpath out of blindness. And why should it not be so? An ear which is finely tuned to nature cannot help but hear the symphony of man. Other skills as well, a multitude of skills immune to blindness.
Thank you, Bridget, Jim. Wait a second. Maybe it's caught on another hitch pin there. Another hitch pin. Oh, there you go. Now you can bridge it. Wait a minute. It came unhooked down here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, enough? Yeah. All right. Got a bridge? Yeah. Okay. Crank it to them it's just the rain bearing winds is it or rain let's say life bearing rains because this rain provides the moisture they need to grow crops and now to get this picture in perspective I'll bring Martha up to the map and we'll learn Southeast Asia in relationship to Southwest Asia and the Asian continent then we'll move to the globe and get our world picture your map of Asia, the complete map of Asia. And this is Central Asia. This will be your working off point. Mm -hmm. We go over here. This is the country we, the countries we studied before, Southwest Asia. Now let's move our hand back here to Central Asia and let's go down now. We go south, what? Mm -hmm. Right. Southeast Asia. Where was the beginning or the end? When did we cross from innocence into knowledge? For it was only yesterday we came and looked ahead to find a long and tedious journey. It seems much shorter looking back. they will long cherish. According to Webster, commencement means to start or to begin. We hope that we have given these students a solid educational foundation from which they can step out and begin a new phase in life. We hope that our efforts have succeeded in carrying on one of the main purposes of this school, that is, to enable each student to develop into a socially acceptable emotionally and morally sound, civically responsible, and self-supporting member of today's democratic society. Let them hold their heads high. They've earned this day. Let them walk with proud steps. The future shall not pass them by. But there are more tomorrows yet to come. There will be other eyes that dim and other fingers reaching out to touch the universe. And in the mornings of their future, they will come again, these children, 
seeking to be recognized. They will be blind, still blind, but not alone.